Today we are talking all things ammunition. Now we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. There is a wide variety of ammunition types in Seven Days to Die. Not only are there different caliber weapons available, there are also different ammunition types for each of these different calibers. And the different types are actually useful in a variety of different situations. Some ammunition is going to be incredibly effective against certain zombies, yet at the same time will have next to no effect on other zombies. So today we're going to go through the different ammunition types and the scenarios in which they are or are not effective. First, let's go over the different ammunitions that we're going to be discussing today. Let's start off with 9mm ammo. This is ammunition for weapons like your pistol or the SMG. Your standard 9mm ammo has a range damage of 32 and a block damage of 7. There is also a hollow point version of the 9mm ammo. This version increases ranged damage to 41 and decreases block damage to only 3. However, one important thing to keep in mind with the hollow point ammo is the target armor plus 100% stat. What that does is pretty much make hollow point ammo ineffective against any armored zombies. It's great against zombies that do not have armor, but against armored zombies, it pretty much becomes useless. And the last type of 9mm ammo is the armor piercing ammo. Now you'll notice it does have the exact same ranged damage as the standard ammunition. However, it does do a couple interesting things. It decreases the armor rating for any armor zombie by 20%, meaning that you will actually deal more damage with armor piercing rounds. And it also increases the degradation of the weapon, which means your weapon's going to degrade even faster when firing this ammunition. Next, Next, let's look at 7.62 ammunition. Your standard 7.62 round deals 50 range damage and 8 block damage. The hollow point variant deals 65 range damage and only 4 block damage. But again, it is completely ineffective against armored zombies. And the armor piercing round, again, like the regular variation, only does 50% damage. However, you do get that minus 20% target armor stat. That that is huge against armored zombies. Next up, let's look at the Magnum ammo. The standard Magnum round deals 70 points of range damage and 12 block damage. The hollow point variant deals 91 range damage and only 6 block damage. And you'll notice that the boost to the armored zombies is not 100%. Now they only get plus 90%, meaning it is just slightly more effective than the other hollow point ammo types, but still it is not very effective at all against armored zombies. And the AP 44 Magnum round also does 70 range damage, but you'll notice that that target armor goes up to minus 25%. So the AP Magnum ammo is even more effective than some of the other AP rounds that we've talked about. So now that we've taken a look at the ammo, let's go ahead and test these out so I can demonstrate their usefulness. Like I said, there are certain ammo is going to be useful in certain scenarios and against certain enemies and other, other ammo types are going to be completely ineffective. So it's very important to choose the right ammunition for the situation. So let's go ahead and demonstrate each of these ammo types in action. But before we move on, if you find this video helpful and or enjoyable, join the Sav Nation by clicking that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. I did also want to mention that the Savin's World Discord server is up and running. You can find the invite link in the description of this video. So swing on by the Savin's World Discord server and meet some of the other awesome members of the Sav Nation. But now, let's get back to it. Let's start off with the 9mm ammunition. So we're going to go ahead and load a single round into our pistol here. And we're going to shoot this bear right in the butt and see how much damage we do. Okay, so one round of regular 9mm ammunition did 48 damage. Next up, let's try the hollow point. So we get that one round of hollow point loaded up, and we'll shoot this bear right in the buttocks. 
Boom! And this time it did 63 points of damage. So it did increase a little bit. And finally, let's try the armor piercing round. So we've got one round in there. Let's see what this does. And again, you'll notice it still only dealt 48 points of damage. So what's the point of armor piercing round? Well, we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna do it against a heavily armored zombie. So now let's take a look and see what happens against a heavily armored zombie. For this test, we are going to use the big boy, the demolition zombie. We're gonna actually see how much damage each of these ammo types do against the demo. First up is the nine millimeter regular standard round. And that did 19 points of damage. Now let's try the hollow point round. Interesting, that did 25 points of damage. That actually did more damage than the standard round. Okay, that's weird, interesting. And now let's try the armor piercing round. That should do a considerable amount of damage against the, uh, the demo zombie because they are heavily armored. So let's see how much damage this round does and it only does 19 points of damage. Well, th what? That, that's not right. Did I just, did I miss something here? Um, okay, let's see. A nine millimeter round used as firearm ammunition can be crafted at a workbench. The hollow point says a jacketed hollow point round used as firearm ammunition, substantially increased base damage, but ineffective against heavy armor. Uh, no, <laughs> it actually did more damage against the demo. It should have done substantially less damage against the demo, but it did not. And the AP, armor piercing ammunition, works especially well against armored targets, but puts a bit more stress on the gun. It can penetrate one enemy or one block up to 250 hit points to also damage the enemy standing behind it. But the AP round did the exact same amount of damage as the regular nine millimeter round. Huh, that is extremely interesting. Well, folks, uh, it looks like the ammunition might be bugged, but just in case, let's switch over to the 762. Let's see if, uh, let's see if the 762 is the same here. So let me grab the 762 rounds and we will try these tests again. Start with a bear, shoot it in the butt, see how much damage it does. So standard round for 762. 57 points of damage. Next up is the hollow point. Let's see how much damage this ammo type does. 81, so HP 762 did 81 points of damage. That's what you would expect against a bear. It should do more damage because bears are not armored. And now let's try the AP ammo against the bear. See what that does. All right, 57 damage, same as the regular ammunition. That's what you would expect because uh, bears do not have any, any armor rating. So it does the same amount of damage as the standard round against non-armored zombies. That's what you would expect. But now let's try that against a demo. So first up is standard ammunition. Let's see what uh, how much damage the regular eight, uh, 762 rounds do. All right, 23 points of damage. Now let's switch to the hollow point. Now, if hollow point was working the way it should, it should do less than the standard ammunition because this is a heavily armored zombie. This round is not supposed to be as effective against heavily armored zombies. But no, it did 32 points of damage. And now let's try the AP rounds. Now these are supposed to be highly effective against armored zombies. So this should deal more damage. Let's see how, how much damage this one does. And once again, it only does 23 points of damage. Well, let's keep this uh, keep this going. Let's test this out with the Magnum rounds, with the 44 Magnum rounds. So we've got our Desert Vulture. Let's bring in a bear and we'll test it out with the bear first. Okay, so regular Magnum rounds. Let's see how much damage this does. So a regular round did 104 damage to the bear. Next up is the hollow point. Let's see how much damage this does. So it did 135, so it did deal more damage to the bear, which you would expect. And now let's try the AP round. Let's see how much damage that does. And once again, it does 104 damage. Again, with a non-armored zombie, that's what you would expect. So let's try it against the demo. First up, standard round for the Desert Vulture, regular Magnum ammo. 
42 points of damage. Next up is the hollow point. Now, if this were acting like it's supposed to, this should actually do less damage than the standard round against an armored zombie. But it does not. It does 54 points of damage. So let's try the AP Magnum round and see how much damage that does. And once again, it only does 42 points of damage. That is really interesting, guys. It looks like the ammo types are actually bugged. They're not working the way that they're supposed to. Again, if we take a look at the description, standard round, a 44 Magnum round used as firearm ammunition. HP, substantially increased base damage, but ineffective against heavy armor. That's not true. It actually did more damage against the demo zombie than the standard round. So that's not right. And the AP round says it's supposed to be especially it's supposed to work especially well against armored targets, but it does the exact same amount of damage as the standard version. Wow, that actually blows my mind. So the ammunition types right now are not working as described or intended. Some extremely interesting and rather surprising results today, folks. It seems that currently the different ammunition types are not working as intended. The hollow point ammo is supposed to give you an increase in damage to non-armored zombies, but be completely ineffective against armored zombies. The AP rounds are supposed to give you a big increase to armored zombies, but not be as effective against non-armored zombies. However, that is not the case. The AP rounds are just as effective as the standard round. And the hollow point rounds are much more effective against every zombie type or every entity type, regardless of armor rating. That, that is not the way that it was designed nor described to be. So it looks like we may have discovered yet another bug. Or I could quite possibly just be missing something. That is possible too. If I am, guys, let me know in the comments below. Are you guys finding it getting the same results when you are testing the ammunition? Are you noticing that the ammo isn't working the way it was, it's supposed to? Or is maybe my, my interpretation of how the ammo types are supposed to work incorrect? That could be possible. Maybe I'm, I'm misinterpreting what, what they're supposed to do. Uh, if I am, let me know in the comments comments below, but from what I can see here, guys, it looks like the ammunition currently is bugged and not working the way it's supposed to. But if I'm wrong, definitely let me know in the comments below. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. If you found this video helpful and or enjoyable and would like to see more, I've created a very special playlist of equipment tutorials that you can access by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.